Miss Hay. I know you probably can't really see my eyes because the sun and everything. The sun finally came out. Bobby came out. But anywho, howdy, hey. How you doing, baby? You good? You straight? You sure? All right, now. So I am definitely, oh, Lord, there's somebody behind me. But I'm still going to do the speed limit of 25 miles per hour. I ain't going to go much faster than that because, child, I'm trying to enjoy this little time. I'm trying to enjoy this time. It is now a little after one. Um, I got some appointments to go to, but my dad already said that he was gonna watch the girls for me while I went to my other, one of my appointments. Um, but I just so happened to have another one. So he was like, yeah, go ahead, you good. And I was looking at the time, I was like, well, I can leave at 1.30, but I had just put the girls to sleep. And I was like, well, let me see if they'll take me a little bit earlier just I was trying to get out that house. <laughs> I was trying to get out that house by myself because I don't have very many moments by myself and I don't try to slow my dad down. Like I know how my dad is. He likes to get out, do his thing or whatever. And that's just his lifestyle. Like he's always been like that. Even with my brothers and everything, they would get out and do stuff. And I know for me, you know, I'd be wanting to do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But at the same time, I'm like, I'm not trying to stop you from doing what you normally do or whatever. Like, and a lot of times when I want to do something, it's at night sometimes. Um, like recently, I just found out that they still have bingo here. I love going to bingo. I used to go to bingo a lot with my mom. She introduced it to me when I was younger. And um, I haven't been to bingo in a long time. Like even when I like was away from my mom, away from my family for like years. <laughs> I found bingo halls, baby. I was going to play bingo. And every time I went, them little old ladies would be, you in here by yourself, baby? Yes, ma'am. Scoot on over, Mildred. Let me get one of them dobbers. <laughs> so yes, like I want to go play bingo. I'm not really that big of like a club person, but I will go out to have a good time and like dance and all that stuff like that. Like I have no problem doing that, but the music gotta be hit. Like I don't wanna hit too much of the shit that's on right now. I respect everybody's artistry, <laughs> but I just don't necessarily wanna hear that and dance to that. But you give me a place that's playing some good old uh, 90s, maybe a little, I could go far back as the 60s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and uh, 2000s. You give me some of that. Oh, baby, I'm up in that thing. But other than that, <laughs> let's just talk about how I am child free right now. Okay. I am so excited. When I say I need a break, this is what I'll be talking about. Now, mind you, this is something that I do all the time. I will say I need a break. And then my dad will be like, all right, cool. Well, I'm going to watch the kids. You go do X, Y, and Z, right? And then I'm like, yes, I got free time. But then I start feeling guilty because I'm like, okay, I know the kids are going to wake up eventually, especially if I put them to sleep. Oh, I know the kids are going to wake up. Or if I leave him with the kids and they're awake, oh, I know that they can be a lot to handle. So then I will like cut my time short to get back to the house in order to be there to help him or just to be there to get back to them because I'm like, I don't want anybody to feel like I'm burdening them with trying to watch the kids. But baby, I don't... I don't do this often and it's not like I'm one of them type of people where I'm just like oh yeah I'm going over here watch the kids I'm going to do this watch the kids I'm gonna go do watch the kids like I don't do that I'm not that type of mom and I don't have nothing against you know whoever whatever does whatever they do or whatever but I'm just personally not that type of person I'm just like nah if, if I say I gotta go here and get this done and I'm going to be back around about this time. I try to definitely make sure that I'm back around that time. Um, now, once I get back, if you tell my ass you got it, I got there too fast like he did before. He was like, damn, you got back fast. So you ain't got nothing else to do. <laughs> now, if you kind of give me some hints and I pick up on them shits to leave, then I'm going to head back out. But for the most part, I'm like, no, let me just get back to the house. Let me get back to the kids. Let me give you back your free time because you able to move freely how you want to move. I can't necessarily do that. So I've learned to just accept the fact that I can't really do that like that. And I don't get mad about it. It may, you know, I may be tired, whatever, hurt my little feelings, whatever. But still, these are my kids. This is the predicament I put myself in. So I'm going to be responsible for my kids. But my dad has definitely been trying to do little things here and there or ask me what can he do to um, really help me. Because it's like, I hear you say you tired. And all this stuff, and he was like, well, you know how I am. I, I move around. I do this and I do that. But I can 
try my best to help you. Oh, look at the little dog. Little puppy. He had a little collar on too for somebody. But anyway, he'd be like, um, <laughs> I'm going to do my best to try to help you as much as I possibly can, even though I don't really be at the house. But if you let me know, which now at this point, how my dad's mind is, like, I can let him know. I can let him know out my mouth. I can tell him. I can put it on the calendar. But I also need to put it in his phone calendar and I need to have it an alarm going off. If I need to have that alarm going off every single day up until the day, then that's what I have to do. <laughs> because if I don't, if I tell him one time, and even if I put it on the physical calendar um, one time or whatever, and I don't say nothing until like the day of, he beat and forgot. He beat and forgot the same day that I told him about 20 minutes later, he beat and forgot. <laughs> and that's okay. I get it. So I know now what I need to do in order to keep him afloat and keep him, you know, on his toes when it comes to that situation. But, oh my God, this feels really good. It feels really good to be at the house with the kids for a little bit. I feel somewhat guilty because I'm just so used to having them with me all the time and, and preparing myself to have them with me. So when I don't prepare myself to have them with me, then I have that little paint your mom guilt, but I'm getting over it, y'all. I'm, I'm trying my best to get over it and be like, hey, you don't have nothing to be guilty about. You take care of your kids. You always got your kids. You don't push your kids off on nobody. So you can have a little time. It's okay for you to have a little time if somebody else can come and step in and do it, you know, watch them for a little hour, two hours or whatever you need. You can do that. It's okay. Don't, don't feel bad because <laughs> I'll be feeling bad. But outside of that, let me tell y'all how proud I am of my oldest daughter, my 12-year-old, my little Preeti. Oh, my goodness. When I tell you I wanted to cry so bad yesterday because, so I was nervous about her starting school, right? And, of course, she was nervous as well because she's preteen. She's it's the end of sixth grade. She's going to a brand new school. She wants to make friends and all these different things like that. But it's just like, you know, kids. And I was nervous for her. I was very, very nervous for her. But she started, right? Monday was a bus. Didn't get to do anything. Um, she started on Tuesday. We let them know that she was in music class previously or whatever. So when she got out of school on Tuesday, which was her full day of meeting all the kids and, you know, getting getting in the in-betweens um she came back and she was she got in the car and she had a smile on her face and I was like okay so how was your day and she was like it was good it was good it was really good and I was like okay and then before I could even go into asking anything else she was just like vomiting from the mouth all of the information <laughs> about how she met the band teacher because we talked about it the day before that they told her that since they knew she was like in band or whatever, they was going to let her talk to the band teacher the next day. So she talked to the band teacher. She let him know the situation about her flute, found out that they actually have instruments that the kids can borrow and take home and use and stuff like that. So that was a fucking plus. I don't have to go out and buy her one. Then they gave her a paper to go ahead and join in the band, like be in the actual band next year next school year or whatever so she brought one of them home she was telling me about all of that and then uh today she would have went to school today but there was like the weather was so bad like the wet it was raining so bad like all throughout the night it was raining so horrible to the point where when I got up and it was time to like really get them up and take her to school and stuff like that it was still raining hard like crazy hard and it was like on and off it would happen real hard for like 10 15 minutes and then it would just kind of stop and then it would go again for like 20 minutes and then it would stop and then it just kept happening so when i woke up and saw that it was still doing that and heard that it was still doing it i was like damn i wonder if they gonna have these kids going to school and i looked it up or whatever because it wasn't on the news but i looked it up on the school's facebook page and saw that they had went ahead and um they had went ahead and canceled school for the kids today. So I was like, all right, well, I'm glad because now I ain't got to get nobody up. Everything is fine. So I just sat there and, you know, chilled for like an hour and a half <laughs> while, um, you know, the kids slept. I had my little free time. But, yeah, they didn't have school today. But if they did have school today, then she would have been um, 
What was that? She would have went to band practice today. Today would have been her first official band practice after school. And that definitely would have worked out real good for me because I was thinking I had to pick her up early and stuff today because I had my appointment. And I was like, oh gosh, I got to rush over there and rush back. Oh, I'm going to have to drive all the way down to find me a parking spot, baby. I'm about to go all the way out the way. But um, yeah, so she would have had band practice today. But of like I said, school was canceled, but she was so hyped. And let me tell you, the parts that made me so emotional about everything was the fact that not just because she had a good day, she made a friend and she found out that she could be in the band. It wasn't even all of that. It, it was partly that. But the big part was like watching her. I guess they had shown her like some of the moves and stuff, because this is like a real deal band. Like when she was at her other school, she was just in um like a music elective class type of thing or whatever so this is real deal like we're gonna be marching in parades type situation and they had already taught her um the song that they would be doing and everything uh she learned the dance moves the different dance moves and stuff that they're gonna be performing and she came home and she like she didn't get on her phone she did not get on um, she did not get on a TV or nothing. She just came in, she grabbed her flute, um, and then she just started practicing. That was her thing. She was just like, okay, I'm gonna get on it. And she was like, mom, let me show you what I learned. I was like, okay, baby, go ahead and show me what you got. Oh my goodness, my baby was doing dance moves and everything. And I was like, oh, look at my baby. Like, I'm so excited for her. And I know this is gonna be like a lot, especially with her being in the band, the band. And all of the um, the obligations that come with the band, I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to front with y'all. I'm like a little tiddlywink nervous as it pertains to, you know, her uniforms or whatever she's going to need. Am I going to have, I'm trying to find a parking spot at this hospital, child. Am I going to have the money in order to, you know, pay for everything that she needs? And I feel like I will. I'm going to have to park all the way back here and walk all the way over there, but it's fine. I definitely feel like everything is working out for our grade of good for a reason. Like this is, this is going to be good for her as well as the other girls um, with many different things that we're going to be able to do. But I was just, man, I wanted to cry because she was just so excited. And it, it, it helped solidify the fact that again, this decision was not a bad decision that was made for me. I was only afraid of moving here because of what other people's decision or what other people's thoughts was. It ain't really other people. It's really like my mom telling me different things. My dad and my my family and stuff that still live here always been trying to get me to um they've always been trying to get me to move back here or whatever. They was like you just need to come on home and be with your family so you can get the proper help. They've always been trying to get me to come here. But my reasoning behind why I was like, no, I'm I'm just not going to do it. I'm just going to, you know, stay where I'm at was because of things that my mom had expressed to me about the area, um, just about the city in general, me coming here, traveling many a days and not really seeing anything that I liked, not really seeing good areas or anything like that. And you got to remind yourself, everywhere that you go is not going to be peachy keen. Like, all the areas are not going to look great. There are going to be some rundown areas and places because that's just what it is. It's like that. So if you don't want to live in that area, then you need to do whatever needs to be done in order for you to be moving on up to the east side, okay? So those were some of the reasons why I kind of was, like, really against not being here. And Spirit had been trying to tell me for the longest. When I tell you, I knew I was supposed to be in this area damn near maybe a year or two years after even moving back to the state. I knew I was supposed to be here, but I kept telling myself, I'm not going to be there. I'm not moving there because if I don't want to stay in the place that I'm at and I'm trying to get away from here and I'm trying to get closer in this direction, why would I go further away from that direction? Child, the universe sat my ass down quick and was like, look, sis, <laughs> this is where you need to be. And let me show you why you need to be there. It felt so good even going to the grocery store yesterday. And I saw one of my cousins and she came and she was smiling just as hard. She was like, hey, cousin. I said, hey, cuz. 
And we gave each other a hug and everything. She was like, how you doing? I said, I'm doing good. She said, well, it's good to see you. She didn't keep me another child. She was trying to conversation. She said, well, it's good to see you. I said, it's good to see you too. Then we got to the front. I go to the self-checkout. You know, and I, I felt like I was being rude because it was like I said, hey, nice to see you. But I had shit on my brain as far as to get. Plus, the kids was outside in the car. And I was like, okay, I need to be in here in, in and out the store. So I kind of felt bad that I, I didn't brush her off because I spoke to her. But I was just moving fast because I was trying to remember the rest of the shit that I need to get out the store. And then I got what I needed to get. I went to self-checkout. She just so happened to go to self-checkouts. And I was like, damn, I didn't even say that I moved back. So I went, as I'm getting ready to leave out the door, um, I was like, all right, cuz, I'm going to see you. I said, I'm going to tell my dad I see you. She was like, all right. And I said, you know, I'm back, right? She said, yeah, he called me and told me. I said, that's why your ass is smiling so hard. <laughs> but it was just, it felt really good knowing that people genuinely oh i'm not gonna cry because i gotta go ahead to the hospital i can't do that but uh, it felt genuinely good being around family and having people see me and they genuinely genuinely love me and want the best for me and it felt good seeing somebody in my community who was my family because i've been in all these different communities and i don't ever see any family or nothing i get used to the people that are there and I get used to the community and the environment that is there, but that's not my family. So to be somewhere and know that I can run into anybody in my family at any point from my mama's side to my daddy's side at any point and have these good relationships with my family and have my kids know who their family is, man, this right here is just top fucking tier. I'm telling you, it's just a top tier experience. And I'm every day I'm thankful that I'm here. And every day I'm learning more and more why spirit wanted me to be here. So even though I'm nervous about, you know, this whole situation as it pertains to my baby being in the band or whatever and the costs that come with that, I'm excited because I feel like I would not have been placed here where I am and things wouldn't be going so well if I wasn't going to be able to maintain all of the things that we want, need and desire. So I know that she may eventually, may possibly want to go back into gymnastics or whatever. I'm very super supportive about that if she wants to do it, as long as it doesn't conflict with her, you know, her schedule, as long as everything works out and she can do it all. And as long as she making them grades, <laughs> as long as she making them grades, I have no problem. I teared up yesterday because I passed on the way dropping her off to school. I passed a daycare and I teared up for a moment passing a daycare because I was like oh my goodness this is also an opportunity possibly for me to be able to put my kids in daycare but then I teared up because I was like I can't leave my babies I ain't never left my babies but child you be saying that till you start getting into the routine of dropping them kids off and having your free time and you be like shit <laughs> deuces keep my kids <laughs> but no like I've just grown a lot and I'm able to do a lot more and I'm able to actually be with my kids um and watch them grow I don't have to send them to, to daycare so I'm very thankful for that but don't get me wrong if there's a place that has no issue with me doing like a pay per day type of thing I think I would be more prone to do something like that if I ever felt like okay I just need a day or I just need this day or whatever. I would probably do that. But then at the same time, it just, oh, the heart palpitations, when I even think about that, it's just a lot because people be doing shit to kids. And I be thinking about it when my daughter, my oldest one goes to school with all this shit that be going on at schools and shit with these kids and people coming in doing stupid shit. But I'm just like, you know, at once when you think about it, once they've become grown adults and they're no longer with you, you can't do anything then either. So I'm going to protect them as much as I can to the best of my abilities, but I'm also going to teach them how to protect themselves and keep themselves safe. And I feel like if I do that, then I'm at least doing my due diligence to where if at any point in time in their lives, something was to pop off, they at least have the knowledge to take care of themselves and protect themselves from any type of harm. And I always say, I don't want any harm done to my kids or anybody's kids for that matter or anybody in the world i don't never want no harm to happen but i know the world that we live in and i know shit is, is crazy out here in these streets so i just try to make sure that i don't 
shut them out from the world. I let them see the world and explore the world, but I also ensure that with you exploring the world, you need to know the dangers of the world. You need to know the shit that could possibly go on. You need to know all the ins and outs of every fucking thing because I don't ever want you to be in a predicament where some shit pop off and you have no fucking clue on what to do. You have no idea how to help yourself because you're just like, well, I never had to experience that. So I don't really know. Or even if it's a situation where like for me, it was a lot of shit that I had never experienced, but it would have still been nice to know what to do in the event that I ever got into a situation. So, you know, there may be things that I have experienced that they may never experience, but I still have the I have the ability to teach them how to protect themselves or how to take care of themselves. And then there are things where I have never experienced it. Hold on, child. Hold on, child. My baby. Hold on. Anywho, <laughs> there may be things where, um, you know, I have not experienced it, but I have a little bit of knowledge to teach you how to protect yourself. As long as I do that, I feel like, yet again, I'm doing my due diligence. So my baby just called me. I'm going to get off of here so I can call her back and see what she need. Maybe the little bitty, the little bitty babies just woke up. So I'm going to call her back and then I'm going to get on up in here to this first appointment. But child, whew, my heart is full. My heart is so full. And I just feel so good about everything that's coming to us. And that's all I really got. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for showing up for yourself. But thank you for showing up for me because you could be anywhere watching anybody out here on these YouTube streets. But baby, you over here watching me. And if you done made it this far, I'm thankful. Even if you only watched the first couple of minutes and you ain't made it this far, just I hope you feel the energy through this right now that I am very thankful. <laughs> I am thankful for that. I love you. Take care of yourself. Drink your water and mind your goddamn business. Okay? But you can mind mine because I'm out here putting it in these streets anyway, so you might as well. You mind this well. <laughs> I fucking love you, bruh.